getting back on the field and coaching uh, after everything that transpired? Yeah, you know, it's, it's different for sure. Um, it, was, it was definitely a, a huge blow mentally at first, but I think what I focused on was the little things. You know, we had guys coming in I knew that could be great, and I wanted to help them just as much as I could. And I focused on that. I focused on waking up, knowing I could make other guys better. Because unfortunately, there's nothing I can change in my role. So I wanted to make other people better while I can. So it's been going well. Uh, coaching is different for sure, as I said. But it's the next best thing as being out there. So it's, it's good. Can you walk us through the timeline of you know when the blood clots reoccurred and how, how everything kind of happened? Uh, yeah, so I think it was around Tuesday that week. I was having some blood in my spit, coughing up. I uh, just kept working out. Figured I had some throat problems. Just kept going because I, actually, my pulse and my oxygen levels were perfect throughout the whole week. I was just coughing up blood. Uh, and then right around that Friday, I started getting pain in my shoulder, in my left lung area. Saturday, woke up, couldn't stand up, couldn't breathe. Drove myself to the hospital. You know, nobody was home, so. I just had that instinct, you know, like, just go. And thankfully, that new one opened up right off of Exit 112 over there by Lin uh, Tecumseh. Went up there. Thankfully, nobody was in there. They got me in and praying it was just some shoulder pain. But uh, within 24 hours, I went from the weight room to the hospital bed. So it's pretty crazy. How do you kind of process that news, knowing that you've been through it before when they come back and tell you that, hey, this is happening again? Yeah, you know, at first I didn't want to believe it, honestly. It's like, no way. You know, I'm, I'm 23 now. It's, like, there's no possible way something like that can happen twice. Um, but honestly, I just kind of took it for what it was. You know, the doctor's doing their job, too. He's being as truthful as he can. And so when I heard the news, it definitely hurt. You know, I took took it right on the chin and just knew how to get better from it. I didn't want it to hold me down. I didn't want to become something I knew I wasn't not supposed to be. So I just want to keep moving forward. Jacob, why did you decide to stay in Norman? Well, one is to finish my degree. I'll have my MBA at the end of the semester. And two is just to help out the people around me. Uh, I know being down and being sulky and sad, that really doesn't help anybody. You know, I have my moment there in the hospital. But, you know, I can make an impact on these young guys and even the guys around me, like DT. You know, we, we have a great relationship, and I didn't want to lose that. Coach Bates as well, Coach V, they've been nothing but help. Uh, so, I mean, it's just the, the place around, you know, you always want to make it better, and that's what I wanted to do idea of the plan long term do you, do you think coaching is something you'll continue doing beyond this year or do you have other things you want to do with your degrees yeah um honestly not sure about the coaching you know I, I love what it does for me I love what it does for the people around me but I did get an education I want to be able to use that um in the business world or otherwise so right now I'm kind of interviewing a different aspects of my life while you know keeping this option open as well Kind of got the coach's eye. What have you seen from you know that defensive tackle position without you? Yeah, I think we're gonna, they're going to surprise a uh, surprise a lot of people. You know, they are younger. Unfortunately, I'm not there to help. But you have a great leader like DT Devon Sears. He's been in the game for six years. G Baby's been around the the scheme for a while. Even you know it's a little different now with Coach Ali, but you know same concept. So the young guys are catching on quick, and I think they're going to surprise a lot of people with how they play. When you got the news of the blood cost for coming back, did you know that you you were going to have to retire, or was there like a... Um, you know, at first the doctor, you know, kind of told me, and I was like, nah, you're, like, you're lying. And then it kind of was a obvious kind of hit when I when I got the message. It was like, you, mentally I was like, you're done. I was holding on to it a little bit. 